Yo, what's up, guys? It's Mediocre Puma, and right now I'm bringing you some MW3 domination on the map Outpost. And right now you don't see me spawn in. I spawned in a little late for some reason. I don't really remember why. But yeah, in this game I go 33 and 2 or 32 and 3. Don't really remember. It's something like that score. And this is a good game. Like I was just playing with my friends and we were just playing. We were like literally like murdering these guys. These guys were really bad. No offense to anyone on that team, but they were pretty bad. So like the whole time I didn't notice, but I was on like an amazing kill streak. I didn't even notice and like I randomly like, just got an MOAB and like I didn't even know there was a secret kill streak in the game until I got that. Like I heard like talk about it. I knew there wasn't like an end game kill streak in MW3, but I didn't I like didn't know there was a secret one like the MOAB. Like I thought they were just like saying that but it wasn't actually in it. But I, so I was like pleasantly surprised when I got that. And in this commentary I don't really want to talk about the gameplay. I just want to talk about at my opinions on MW3. So when I first got MW3, I had no expectations for it. I was just expecting another COD game. Really, like, nothing too great, nothing too bad. But, you know, when I got it, it exceeded my expectations a lot, even though I didn't really have any. Like, it was really good. Like, everything about it is pretty good. Like, some of the stuff I don't really like. Like, a few of the maps aren't too good. And the Type 95 is overpowered. I don't really see it, though, but apparently, like, if you're good with it, it's overpowered, pretty much. You know, I don't like that gun. I'm pretty bad with it, but... Some of the maps aren't good in Type 95, bro. Really. That's all of my complaints. No. Like, my biggest complaint... Because <laughs> this really only affects me and probably no one else. But when I shoot someone into Last Stand, I always reload. Because I think that's, like, the amount of bullets to kill them. So then when I see they're in la Final Stand, I try and YY out of my reload. And then I can't because it takes like at least like an extra second to why why because like your gun doesn't re-render or something so like the final stand guy can just kill you easily I'm like that is really stupid because that always gets me killed like every time there's a final stand guy like I guess like four out of five times he's gonna kill me because I always have to reload after I kill someone I, I don't know why it's just something I do in COD that's really all the complaints I have with the game and but the maps really like the maps I don't like in this game are really I don't really remember the one's name. It has like an underground hole in the middle where B is in domination. And C Town and Resistance. I just don't like those maps. I really don't know why. C Town I just it just makes me really angry. I don't know why. Like every game I play on that, everyone's camping in the buildings, like everywhere and it's, that's just like, not my kind of like playstyle, just camping and stuff. I like to run around and just like play COD and just like have fun not like camp and be serious about it and resistance I don't know why I just don't like it that much it it's okay but really I just don't like in the map with the underground hole in the middle like it, it's okay but I can't play it in domination it's so annoying that's pretty much all of my complaints with the game what's good about the game is it's balanced unlike any other COD game well Black Ops was pretty balanced it was a little like people complained because it was like too balanced or something and made the game boring but mw3 is balanced and it still makes the game very very fun like you can go in a game with like a secondary like a secondary machine pistol and do just as good as using like an smg and snipers like they're good in the game but like you have i don't know like it quick scoping is back but in a way it's kind of like weird like i don't know like that with quick draw pro you have to use that with snipers usually to like snipe in really fast, like scope in really fast, or else you can get killed extremely fast. Because in this game, the health I think it's like one more bullet than MW2, but like one or two less bullets than Black Ops. So, like, I'm not really used to the damage in this game because I, all I did was play Black Ops a lot. I have like maybe 10 days on Black Ops, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so I have like 10 days, and I got really used to the damage system in that, like 6 bullets or 5 bullets per kill, something around there. So with MW3, it just, it's kind of weird getting used to like the like quick kills and stuff like that. But really, it's, it's a lot more fun. It's like MW3 and, I mean, MW2, I like that a lot. It's not really that much like Black Ops, which I could really care less about, because as far as i played like to this point, it's so much better than Black Ops was in the beginning, and... I'm already first prestige in the game, it's that good, so I have like about a day played and it's it's really good, so I think I have enough like experience in the game to form an opinion. 
nothing really cheap has come out in the game yet. I'm surprised. But, like, eventually something's gonna be, like, bad in it. And, which is really good news that new tubes, they are terrible in this game, which is probably the most amazing thing ever, because in MW2, yeah, MW2, you couldn't get in the lobby without anyone noob tubing you, like, in every single lobby, just noob tube, noob tube, noob tube. But the guns in this game, the guns are, all of them are so good, but my favorites in the game are P90, ACR, PP, PP90, and Scar L and M4A1, like, they're all really good guns. I've just gotten into snipers, like, I'm not good with them, but they're just fun to use. Like, the Barrett's my favorite out of them so far. Yeah, with the P90, I just don't know why. It's been consistently good in every single COD game it's in. COD 4, it was it was good. MW2, it was good. And now this game, it's still really good. And what else? The Scar L, that's... It's pretty good. I can only use it with Red Dot, and when I do, I just do... I do usually pretty good with it, and... ACR, everybody knows that's probably one of the best guns in the game. And then the PP90, like, that is my favorite gun in the game. Like, at first when I started using it, I'm like, why is this good? I can't get any kills with it. And then, like, my cousin, who's 10 years old, used that gun so much, he's like, yo, just use it with um, Rapid Fire. It's really good. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'll try and get it. So I started using it with the Rapid Fire. It kills so fast. Like, it's literally, like, less than half of a second, and then they're dead. It's so amazing. If you have, like sleight of hand and like the kick proficiency on it it has virtually no recoil and you can just keep reloading very fast and just get like double and triple sprays all day and like i found the best game type to use that gun in is usually domination and kill confirmed because the kill confirmed everybody knows it's like fast paced action like picking up dog tags and stuff <clears throat> sorry and then um when you use like an SMG with rapid fire, preferably the PP90 with rapid fire, like you kill so fast, you can get double and triple sprays like it's nothing, and then you can just pick up the dog tags, and it's so easy to do good. You can even pick off people from medium to long range if you have pretty good accuracy. It's it's so good. Like I don't know why it is. Like it looked terrible. Like the iron sights aren't very good, but like with rapid fire, it just kills extremely fast. Like most SMGs in the game, rapid fire is the best attachment. In my opinion, if you're running and going to like kill confirmed and stuff, it kills so fast and it lets you collect the dog tags. And like, I don't know, you don't really have to worry about anyone since it's like so fast paced, you can just kill them extra like in like half of a second with rapid fire. What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. In MW3, what I found to be my favorite game type so far is Team Defender, which is one of the new ones. If you don't know what that is, it's like So it's a six v six game type and the first person who dies, doesn't matter which team, they drop a flag, and the team holding the flag gets double EXP per kill. So, like, you get 50 if your team doesn't have the flag, but you get 100 if your team does have the flag. You paid, you played, um, 7,500, like, team, normal TVM, and it's just really fun. Like, and if you're the flag carrier, you get 20, yeah, 20 points for each kill your team gets. So if you're the flag carrier the whole game, like, you should expect to get a lot, a lot of points. So yeah, MW3, overall good game, some minor complaints, and that's about it. Alright, we have um 22 seconds left. Well, I have 22 seconds left. The gameplay should be wrapping up in like 30 seconds or so. I'm just going to um, let you guys watch the rest. Alright, Meteor Kapuma, see ya. And by the way, guys, I forgot to tell you. <coughs> Sorry. Like, a, like our Facebook page, We Don't Snipe. No spaces, just like it. Alright, see ya.